Hello and welcome to Me and My Golf TV. You've joined us at the very windy Asprey. I'm Piers Ward. And I'm Andy Proudman. And today we're talking swing path and we're going to help fix one of our viewers' push shot. Let's help you take charge of your game. Okay, so lots of questions coming in this week through Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Thanks for your crazy interaction. crazy at the moment, yeah. We'd love to have time to answer them all, but we're sort of working our way through them as good as we can. And today's question is through Facebook from Connor Smith. They're kind of saying that he's struggling hitting the golf ball to the right and thinks he may be firing the, the hips too early and leaving the pace open. Okay. Now, Connor's shot pace is dead straight, so it's in a dead straight line and yeah. finishing right of target. Okay. So that's a push for a right-handed yeah. golfer. Yeah, yeah. Um, so first of all, let's just go through what actually causes a push and then we can sort of work through from there. Okay, just a, a quick one before that, Andy, just a quick thing between a push and a slice. So a push will be a golf ball which goes for the right-handed golfer straight to the right, so it flies on a flight straight out to the right. A slice is one that bends to the right, so okay. it's quite, quite a different shot difference, and can yeah. be for a very different reason. So push. Okay, basically what happens when we have a push, if I have my target line in here now, we can see going to the middle of the fairway, hopefully Andy. Yes. Hopefully. Now all that happens is that my path will tend to, on the push, be swinging out more to the right. So you can see that the, 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 the path of the swing there is going out more to the right, to the right of my target line. Okay, so basically a push is when the path is to the right and the face is dead square to yeah. that path when you hit the golf ball. A slice is when the face is open. So open to that path. this is more a, pa a path issue more than anything, yeah. We haven't really got to change the face position. We're just going to focus on swing path. So um, in terms of a drill to do or something that you can practice, what can okay. we give him to work on? Do you know on? what? I mean, this, we see this every time we turn the TV on and let's watch the best players in the world and I can think of you know, hundreds of golfers that have done this because this is actually a, a fault that the, the good players do. Yes. So they do, they, they tend to be more under the plane, swinging out to the right. So they very much exaggerate on the golf course with their practice swing. So we've seen Miguel Angel Jimenez, Corey Payton did a lot, Tiger Woods, probably the best. So they would work really hard. They'd get to the top of their backswing and they would do a goal, a downswing, which looked quite ridiculous to the yeah. majority of us, that they would throw the club out in front of them and then swing it to the left. So they would go miles over the top of what we would call the plane yeah. and then swing to the left of that because it's the exact opposite of what they do when they hit the ball hard. Yeah. So we all have a pattern of what we do when we hit the ball hard. So it sounds at the moment with this question that the path is too far out to the right. So Tiger Woods would make sure in his practice swing that he would swing well to the left. And we often hear so much on the, what the commentators say, oh, they're getting the club stuck behind them. Yeah. And that stuck behind them is what causes that sort of push to the right or even the hook, which the better players on tour do not want to hit. They no, do not want that goal. They hate that. They do not want the golf ball to go left. So what obviously Pierce is saying there is that the exaggeration of getting stuck behind you here to get you on plane, what we want is we want you to feel that the club is getting more in front of you and swinging across. So, Pitt, if you just demonstrate a couple there, just to just to exaggerate that feeling in full motion there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it is it's, it's a very strange one. So, this is what's naturally happening. So there's that club stuck there's behind. There's a club stuck behind and the hips spinning, as you mentioned. That's what's naturally happening. We want you to feel like you're doing this, swinging well over the plane. But in reality, you'll probably be doing this, swinging actually on the plane. Yeah. So, this is your bad one. This is what we want you to feel, in the practice swing especially. But in effect, this is hopefully what will happen. It'll be on, on a good plane. Okay, big difference there. So it's just the exaggeration of what we what we do want. Now, if you slice the golf ball, do not have a go at that. No. <laughs> that will cause even more it's problems. It's going to make it worse. It is literally for somebody who is stuck underneath the golf, underneath the swing plane. Yeah. And it's just to change that swing plane. Okay. This, let me drop a ball down. Okay. Okay, let's put this in action. Give a, give a heck of a, because this is something I do as well. I mean, yes, you can work at the practice swing on the golf course. Head cover is great when you're training on the practice area. So we've got our target line. The, goal, the head cover goes behind the golf ball and inside from the target line. How much depends on how severe you want to work at this. Yeah. If you want to stick it even almost on the target line, it will guarantee that you've got a swing across the ball. So I'm just going to place it here so I can play a normal straight shot, hopefully. It's been known before, Andy, every now and then. Every now and then. Probably not quite high. Not in the Challenge Tuesdays at the moment, though. No, maybe not. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> okay, so from here now, my key thought is just to miss the head cover. Okay. All right, let's give it a go. There we go. 
Mr. Hager with no problem. And it'll fade that bass. It'll fade, it'll love it. Fade. Okay, Connor, hope that helps. So exaggerate your practice swings, get the club feeling that it's coming more in front of you, swinging more to the left. It's a swing plane issue, so hopefully that will help create a more on-plane golf swing. Hope that helps, guys. Post your comments down below. Any questions, again, we'd love to answer them. We're going to work through as many as we can. Give us a like. If you do like that, we want more and more videos to do, yep. obviously. So the more you give us to do, the better it is for you guys as well. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Thanks. The backswing is where the, the, uh, the club face or the leading edge matches your lead arm here. So that's the number one thing. So yes, the, the wrist is important, but the number one thing is we want the face pretty square. Yeah. So flat left wrist base. And okay. we've got a drill to help 